Hey guys, this is Chuck Wagon here, and I'm in X Plane 11 in the Coronado Citation 550. And I um, highly recommend this plane, it's really, really cool. Um, I'm just going to do this quick video just to show you guys uh, how to do a quick VFR setup on the FMS here. Uh, it only takes a few steps, and it's very, very quick. And I like using it. Um, uh, doing that type of setup uh, for your typical VFR um, VFR flights uh, that are direct to and uh, you know on these small you know jet these small little general aviation jets or or King Airs or anything of that sort so basically let's just uh, uh, get to it let me get this uh, yoke out of the way here real quick and as you can see, um, we got our main indicator, the HSI that works with it. And uh, what we're going to do is zoom in a little bit here. And uh, you're going to get this message uh, when you start up. It says nav data out of date. So you want to clear this out of the way. And you want to set up your flight plan. So what you do here, you you got to know where you're starting and where your destination is. So we are in Haines, Alaska, and the identifier of that is P A H N. That's our scratch pad, and then we'll click this button here to set our origin and our destination. We'll put in Skagway, Alaska, which is P A G. Y and hit that so we got that uh, input we already know our starting point and our destination so from here we'll hit since our destination is PAGY we'll come here direct intercept and we'll put in P A G Y hit uh, this arrow and hit execute right so that's it that's the setup it tells you it's 14 miles away and it's at 009 degrees so here in your nav HSI button you want to hit GPS and you can do your autopilot setup uh, however you like um, but basically what it'll do It'll set it up for you. You give you your distance, 14.5 uh, miles. Your course is eight degrees. It's already set up for you. And if you increase the range to 55, you can see PAGY already set up for you. And here it is as well. So technically, that is it. That's your setup. So generally just take off, you would be turning to 090, basically, well, you get the picture. Anyway, take off and fly that way, 14 miles, and you're there. Alright guys, I hope that helped. That's the whole mystery of this uh, FMS. I keep it simple. Um, I've used this a lot and it, it works really well. And... Uh, it's pretty straightforward and oh by the way um, the bearing will always stay the same but the the miles indicator here will go down as well as here so you got two indications of where where you're going and how far you are from your waypoint so guys well hope that helped um, see you soon and have a great day bye